Hello AI agent developers, I am Ving from Itomatic, speaking on behalf of the Tools and Applications Workgroup of the AI Alliance. August is becoming very busy and exciting with many AI events happening everywhere. And if you happen to be at the Berkeley Agentic AI Summit on August 2nd as well, I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to introduce you to Dana. Dana is our new AI-powered programming language that makes it really easy to create high-performing AI agents in complex domains. The AI Alliance launched and announced the Dana language in a global event in Tokyo in late June. In this video and a series of following videos, we would like to share with you various aspects of this new wonderful way of building agent AI systems. Various insights and techniques that underpin the Dana language discussed by this paper that we published last fall on domain-aware neurosymbolic agents. And very soon we are going to publish a new paper detailing the technical architecture and design of the Dana language itself. In this video and in subsequent videos following this, we would like to cover various facets of Dana and the ecosystem surrounding Dana, from the capabilities of the AI-powered runtime to how we would declare and use agents or add domain expertise to such agents, how we should organize knowledge and workflows from specific domains in ways that are conducive for agents to leverage in the problem solving. And we will touch on things like adaptive learning and multi-agent collaboration as well. In this first session, I would like to touch on topics in the first two areas with some examples that address some very high level frequent concerns that AI developers like you and me often need to overcome. Number one, I would like to introduce to you the concurrency by default behavior of the Dana runtime. This is a design decision that we have made to make Dana programs execute maximally efficiently without developers like you and me having to write any complex asynchronous code. Number two, I will walk you through how to make Dana agents appear in programs and very importantly, how to arm them with the appropriate domain expertise so that they can perform accurately and consistently in complex problem solving in certain technical domain. Regarding concurrency, as you all know, and likely already feel very acutely, agentic AI applications are very, very heavy in LM calls and other IO. So everybody is very motivated to max out on parallel execution, on con concurrency. Now, the real challenge that you and I have encountered is that coding for concurrency is really cumbersome. Even in a language that is succinct like Python, the moment you have one async function defined, you have to make the whole stack that involves that function async as well. And very quickly, you end up with hundreds of async and await statements, which are really difficult to keep track of. And that is not even the core of the logic that we have to think about. We, we should spend our time thinking about the logic of how the agents work, not how the code is executed. Now, for Dana, because this language is designed for agentic AI, we have decided to make concurrent execution the default. So let me show you what we mean. I'm entering the Dana interactive REPL environment and I'm sending in a number of LM completion requests. The first one being on Hilbert's problems in mathematics. Now as it's done, I'm sending in the second one on AI history. And by the way, Dana syntax is really similar to Python. A lot of these should look very familiar. The third one on semiconductor materials. So as you can, you can see, if we, the developers, actively request the values of these LM completions, as soon as we declare them, then we are made to wait between these calls because the evaluation happens when we request the value. But that is not what we need most of the time. Most of the time when we write full programs, a lot of variables don't have to be evaluated right when they are declared. The same can be put into a Dana program where I assign the LM completion request to variables. 
but I don't need to evaluate their values right when they are declared. Um, and in this instance, I am requesting the results from all of these LM calls right at the end. Let me run this program for you using the Dana interpreter. And it is very apparent that the program execution jumps right to the end step where all these values are being evaluated in one go. We know it's going to be more efficient. We know it's going to be faster than waiting for these calls to be completed sequentially. But the most important thing to note is that the code that you and I need to write is unchanged. We don't have to put in any async await statements. We don't have to think about where to place such async and await keywords. We as developers pretty much still focus our minds on the logic of what is happening in the program, which we should be. You can feel how important this can be for complex agentic problem solving programs where many things can and should happen in parallel, but it will be too mentally cumbersome for the developer to have to specify exactly what should happen in parallel. I shall now move on to the second half of today's major topics, which has to do with agents and domain expertise. In Dana, agents are a first class concept. Dana is an agent native programming language and it has a agent keyword to declare new agent type. So I can create a new agent type called my Dana and an instance of it very easily like this. And already my Dana, the instance, is a being that is fairly capable, an entity that is able to answer a lot of general knowledge questions or solve general knowledge problems, we can start asking it various things and get fairly plausible solutions or answers from my Dana. Now, but the most profoundly powerful about Dana agent framework is its ability to incorporate domain expertise. So I'm going to show you how I can evolve my generalist agent, my Dana, into a specialist that can do sophisticated analysis and problem solving in a technical domain like in financial analysis. Uh, I have with me here a knowledge package named financial analysis. It is, in fact, a fully importable Dana package, the reason for which I will explain in greater detail a bit later. Uh, let me just import it first and get these document resources in as well. Now, before I infuse financial analysis knowledge into my Dana agent, I want to test its prior skills in solving financial analysis problems without such knowledge first. So I'm going to pass this question, is AMD a capital intensive company, to my generalist, my Dana. Uh, I will give it the document about AMD but I have not yet given it financial analysis knowledge. So with this, I have an answer coming back from my Dana about AMD. It says generally AMD may be a capital intensive company because the industry it is in, which is semiconductor, has a lot of heavy equipment, has a lot of machinery. So it thinks that AMD is likely to be capital intensive. So this is a sufficiently interesting answer, but still shallow relative to the expected quality and the amount of detail that this question deserves. So now I'm going to explicitly load financial analysis knowledge into the expertise of my Dana agent and see how its capabilities and behaviors change. So let me give it the same question again after it is armed with financial analysis, ex analysis expertise. So what is happening right now is now that the agent has financial analysis expertise, it is looking into the content of such expertise and see what the relevant facts, rules, heuristic workflows that it can use to solve this post problem based on the given resources. We have received an answer from the expert MyDana agent, now knowledgeable in financial analysis. It is immediately noticeable 
how much more structured, detailed, and quantitative this answer is compared with the previous generic answer. So this answer has various metrics, numbers related to capital intensity evaluation, and it also reached a fairly nuanced conclusion saying that certain metrics point to capital intensity while some other metrics point in the opposite direction. So this is, this is an expert analysis in terms of thoroughness and precision and use of numbers. And you can appreciate the impact that the infusion of domain expertise can make to agentic problem solving. I have learned that if we put domain expertise in high precision fields such as finance, semiconductor, energy, various areas in manufacturing into the agents in the right way, agents can make very effective use of such knowledge and it yields a lot more accurate and consistent answers. Um, so this is a very big topic to be discussed in a follow-up video on what we call the knowledge organization and workflow structures in data. But before we leave today's video session, I would like to give you a glimpse of the, the structure of a Dana knowledge package. I have expanded on the left here um, the financial analysis knowledge pack that we have imported and put into the MyDana agent. You can see that it actually is a full flash, pretty extensive Dana code package. So it turns out in high precision domains, we can and should encode a lot of domain expertise in code forms, in neuro symbolic languages like Dana. And the difference that makes to agentic problem solving quality is very significant. So I would leave you with that thought and I thank you for your interest in this initial video of this series on Dana. Uh, I hope you would check out the description below this video for links on how to install Dana, keep in touch with us and follow our development of Dana. Hope to see you again in future videos in this series.